I bought this beautiful Gigabyte Aorus Master 3812 gig version by combining the smarts of Power BI and Power Automate. And in this tutorial, I show you how to replicate the steps I took so you can create a personal, price and in-stock monitoring tool. All of this without writing a single line of code. We are only going to use the GUI of both applications. You can use this method to buy one of those shiny and powerful new 4000 series GPUs from Nvidia, or even the new gen CPUs. As it involves quite a few distinct steps, I added chapters so it will be easier for you to navigate around. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to script data from the web, create a simple report in Power BI Desktop, publish the report, create a dashboard with data alerts, and lastly, link all of this to Power Automate to set up a superb notification tool based on multiple conditions. Wow, that's a lot. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you to learn more about Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please start by clicking on the like and subscribe button so you wouldn't miss my Power BI tutorials. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. As I mentioned in the intro, today's video will help all of you out there in the creation of a personal price monitoring tool. The main reason why I wanted to create this, or more importantly, needed to create this is that none of the online price trackers are complete. Additionally, I have previous experience with some of the stores that sell IT parts, meaning that filtering out certain stores was a must. Given that I don't want to infringe copyright laws or recommend stores, I'm going to utilize my own website and upload details there. Please keep in mind that some websites might be a bit trickier to scrape, but I found most of the Australian PC sellers' websites super compatible with the scraping logic built into Power BI. Without further ado, it's time to head over to my PC and start building something awesome. When I was looking to buy a new GPU, I had my eyes on two different 3080s. One is the Gigabyte Aorus Master, and the other one is the Asus ROG Strix. Both come in 12 gig variants, which is really handy for my video editing needs. As you can see on the screen, I have both of these on my website listed as items for sale. For this demo, the price is the same for both. However, the ROG Strix is out of stock, at least before we start playing with the alerts. Using my website gives me the flexibility to showcase this demo as well. I can update availability and pricing within a second. Let's head over to Power BI Desktop so we can start by getting data from the web. I'm just going to follow the GUI here. Place the link here and hit the shiny yellow button. Instead of using suggested tables or any text fields, I'm going to click on the Add Table Using Examples button. This might save you a lot of time when you create your own version of the tool. As I said, some websites are super easy to scrape from. They store details in tables and all you have to do is just import that, while others force you to go through the examples path. The good thing is both options work just fine. Then I can start creating my own table based on the data available on the website. Let's add three columns, GPU, status, and price, then start filling in the details manually. Great stuff. Hit OK and then transform data. Let's rename the query to Aorus Master. Let's do the same thing for the ROG Strix card as well. The next step is optional, but I prefer to append tables together. There is no other way to put it, I prefer this method. You can keep them separate, but once you have 5 to 6 items to track, I reckon having a single query makes it much easier to manage. Call this appended query GPUs and disable the load of the rest. Lastly, we will need a numerical field for the status to use in a dashboard alert. I'm going to use Power Queries GUI again and add a column from example. If the status is in stock, I want this new field to show 1, and when it is out of stock, I want to see 0. 
please note that the M code generated for web scraping is web.browser content. If we keep that, a gateway of some sort will be required to refresh the dataset, even though it is an online data source. To overcome this issue, I replaced it with a web.contents M code. I have added the background image and two sets of three card visuals, so six cards in total. It could be a plain report, but I wanted to spice this up a bit. Publish the report and head over to the service. In the workspace, let's start by editing the credentials for the dataset under settings. We need to do this to allow data refresh without opening Power BI Desktop. This means that we will be able to schedule refreshes throughout the day. Authentication method is anonymous, so just hit OK for all the web sources. Now if I hit refresh on the dataset, a refresh will go through. Few moments later. Just like this. Perfect. It's time to set up our dashboard based on the report. I'm going to pin four cards to a new dashboard. This step is required to allow the creation of data-driven alerts. Then head over to our dashboard and start the beautification process. Please remember, in this demo I only have two GPUs to monitor, but you can have as many as you like, or as many sellers as you like. This setup is super flexible. Now we can start setting up alerts. For each tile or element on the dashboard, click on the three dots at the top right section and select Manage Alerts. For the ROG Strix status, I want the condition to be above and the threshold to be zero. When a product is available, the status code will turn to one, so this is great. Maximum notification frequency won't matter, as we are going to use Power Automate for the notifications, so keep it at 24 hours and disable email notifications. Again, we are going to drive the notifications from Power Automate, as it offers much more flexibility. After that, let's just say that when it comes to the price of the ROG Strix card, I'm happy to buy it when the price goes below 1500. Click on the three dots, manage alerts, and the condition now below, and the threshold is 1500. Alrighty, let's repeat the same for the Aorus card with the same values. You are doing great so far. As in this demo, we have two conditions or two criteria that have to meet before an alert should go off, we cannot use the inbuilt alerts for Power BI. For a more complex setup, Power Automate is the way to go. Luckily, it also comes with a super easy GUI, meaning that we don't need to write any code. Let's head back to my PC. I'm going to explain every step as some of you might be completely new to Power Automate. On the home page, let me type in Power BI Data Driven Alert. Under the template section, let's click on Trigger a Flow with a Power BI Data Driven Alert. Log in with the account using Power BI, and on the next screen, we can select the alert name as the alert ID. Let's start with the availability or status alert for the Aorus MasterCard. If a GPU is not available, its hypothetical price doesn't matter. The next step is a control condition. If the alert is triggered, flag is true, meaning that the GPU is available, we have to check the GPU's price. Under the if yes section, we add another trigger, now for the price. Another condition to ensure that we only trigger a notification when both alerts are off. And lastly, don't forget the notification. I want to be notified when one of these GPUs is available at a price that I'm willing to pay for them. As I might be on the road when it happens, I need to set up a Teams notification. I might not read my emails for a few hours, but Teams is always with me. Let's create that post message flow with me as a recipient and some simple messages. Luckily, we don't have to worry about the other sides of the conditions, meaning that when the availability or price alert are not triggered, 
I don't need to know that the GPU is still not available or still not below the price that I'm willing to pay for that. Let's rename a couple of things within this flow so I remember which step does what. Also, name it Aorus Master Tracking. I need to create another flow with the same setup but for the ROG Strix card. Luckily, I can save a copy of this automation and just change some bits of the flow. Let's do that now. We are almost there. There are only two things left. First of all, testing that the notifications will come through. This is mainly to show you how it works, what to expect and things like that. Then setting up scheduled refreshes on the dataset to ensure that we scrape the data every two to three hours. I'm going to test the following options. ROG Strix price drop to $14.99. I expect no alarm notifications. ROG Strix availability to in stock. I would expect a notification. Aorus Master Price drop to $14.89 and at the same time status change to out of stock. I expect no alarm notifications. Aorus Master Availability in stock. I expect a notification. Let's start the testing. There are four sections on my screen now. I know it seems a bit busy but I need to show all of them. Top left is the backend of my website. Bottom left is the live website page. Top right is Power BI Service and Power Automate Interface and bottom right is my Teams account. Let's start testing. After all these tests I know that my alerts will work. Now it's time to set up scheduled refreshes of the dataset as a final step. Without auto refreshes you would need to log in and refresh the report manually. Click on the three dots next to the dataset and select settings. Scroll down to scheduled refresh and turn this on. As this dataset sits in a pro workspace I can only schedule 8 refreshes per day. 
I pick some hours randomly, mainly during standard business hours, and one at night time. You never know when a new supply might arrive and hits the shelf on a website. And lastly, just click on apply. Well, you are great. I know it was a lot, so let me summarize all the smarts that we created today. We started by scraping GPU availability and price data from websites and put that information into a Power BI report. Then we published the report online and created a dashboard to allow data-driven alert creation. After that, we used Power Automate to alert us based on multiple conditions or multiple alerts from Power BI instead of a single condition. And lastly, we set up scheduled refreshes for our dataset, meaning that the web scraper will run automatically without any interaction from us. And the best part of this is a shiny new GPU at the end. I actually monitored these two GPUs roughly six months ago from seven different Australian IT shops, and as a result of this built-in smart monitoring tool, I got my hands on this beauty. And it has a small screen so I can play Bilingual Analytics logo as a GIF as well. But the question is, what do you think about this solution? I reckon it's a perfect example of how Power Automate can enhance Power BI features. And there are heaps more bits where automation can do wonderful things with our Power BI reports and dataset. If you have any questions about the topic we covered today, let me know in the comment section below. I'm super keen to hear what you think about my GPU monitoring tool. As you stay till the end, I'm sure you like this video, so please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and make sure to watch more of my tutorials, like the ones above me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.